hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley this is another ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to create a cover for your um featured collection so the facebook feature collection actually allows you to add photos and also a cover on the image now this is what i mean by featured collection cover now this is the facebook um, account when you scroll down to the featured collection area these are the feature collection area if you notice these um, images from this collection titled bitmoji um, fox cute and then my avatar they, they all have covers including the water has christmas they all have covers so if i click on each of them you notice the images that are inside of them but just outside of them the one that is few, um, called fox cute i'm going to click on that you notice it's actually blue with a love on it so once i click on that fox cute it displays fox images now the images can be inside of those stuffs but they don't have cover but um they all have cover outside of it then you notice the one that i called personal when i click on that it just displays my personal images and my favorite images but actually this one doesn't have any cover so i'm going to go ahead and give this one a custom cover just like i did for for all of this one that is called bitmoji force cute and my avatar now to create those covers i'm going to make use of um canva application i've been making use of this application for a while now i hope you guys are paying attention to that now click and open your canva wait for it to load oh i already have this open i'm going to go ahead and close this so that i will start all over now um go ahead and open canva once more the reason why I closed it is because I was already working previously on a job, so I don't want it to get complicated. So, um, to create uh, a new, a new story cover, a new cover for your feature collection on Facebook, um, I usually make use of story because it has the same width, with um, it has the same height and width with the featured collection. But if you don't want to make use of the Instagram story, just click on this plus icon right there. And now um, click on custom size. I actually memorize this custom size. So it's actually 1080 by 920, um, 920 pixels. So um, you can notice it's actually the same size with the um, Instagram story. So go ahead and click on create new design. Wait for it to load. It's going to load and it will display that page for you. So go ahead and click on this um, button in the middle, in the bottom center, which is actually the close icon. I don't want to choose any template. Now, this is the um, this is our design. You notice uh, on the canvas area or on the work layout area that we can replace this place with color. So um, all you need to do first, click on it and replace with color. But before we replace it with color, I have to give it a color margin, matching our, um, our selected shape or image or icon that we want to make use of. So first I'm going to click on this plus icon right there. Now you notice where it says elements, right? Go ahead and click on element. Now I'm going to add a different element. Since that particular image is talking about personal, I'm going to search personal so i'm just going to give you something very simple and very unique and also something that has to do with um the um the featured collection so um anyone you guys want just go ahead and search through you're going to definitely see an image that will match and guys uh, make sure you get make use of any image that is a free image if you, you make use of any image that has this crown icon those are not free image if you make use of any of them they are all going to be saved and it's going to be saved with a, a watermark so i'm going to look for a persona or i'm just going to type a va I want to type avatar all right go so uh, i think i like this one but that's a female so i'm going to go for this guy but i don't i don't have any beard so i'm going to keep scrolling till i see what i want i think this one will be cool but it has a beard and i don't think my beard is like that so i'm going to choose this guy instead this guy here so this is guy I've selected. Now, um, in order to change the background color, just tap on the background. You notice the background is selected. And if I tap on the image, the image will be selected. But right now, I want to change the background color. So tap on the background. You notice this color session on the end. Go ahead and click on that. And then choose a color that is fitting your document. Just go ahead and choose any color you feel like um, it will be cool for your document. And then once you're done, just um, go ahead and save it up. I think this blue is okay. So um, I'm just going to download this. 
But um, if you guys want to add a test, go ahead and click on this plus icon. You notice where it has test. Tap on that. And then you're going to go ahead and see where you'll be able to select um, a unique font that will be fitting that particular image. So I'm going to choose this one that says sweet. So once you tap on it, it's going to be created. And then just double tap to edit that particular test that was created. And go ahead and change the test. So I still made use of personal. Then click on the drop down icon choose this image i want to change the font size now you notice where it has um it, you notice where it has 313 pt that pt means point which is actually the point of that particular test so click on it to change it once you click on it you see this option below that says font type so go ahead and reduce the size until you're satisfied i think i'm satisfied with this so i'm going to move it up and then leave it to um a position that i think i'm okay with i think i'm okay with that so if you are done with your editing just go ahead and download the image to download and save to your phone i'm going to click on this one right there on top so it start downloading my image so it's going to take a while to save and once it's complete we already have our image ready and to change our cover so it's already downloaded completely so i'm going to go back to my facebook account and on the first option i'm going to click on it and now i'm going to select on this top icon that has this three dotted icon click on it and you notice where it says edit featured collection right now i'm going to click on the featured collection and now um you notice where it has um, a, um the cover the cover is on top right go ahead and click on the camera icon on on that section and then um, it's actually giving you option to select cover from any of the existing image that if you if you want but if you don't want to if you do not want to select any of those just click on this camera icon in the beginning to upload a new featured cover a new cover for the featured um, collection now I've chosen this and I think I'm okay with this so once this is selected all I need to do is to click on use so once I've done that image go ahead and click on save on the bottom section this is actually what i wanted to click the other time then i'm secondly click on the top so click on save to save your image it's going to take a while to save the image so wait for it and the image is saved you notice the image has displayed right there with the cover now if i swipe um i have one more that didn't have a cover but i think i'm satisfied with this so far so if you guys are okay with this video go ahead and create more covers for your own and choose to create whatever you want to create but i think i'm satisfied with what i have right there if you have any question about canva or any question about the feature collection just let me know on the comment section i really appreciate your video your time watching the video and make sure you stay subscribed and like this video peace